just the winning it outright. You clinched the share last week. What what did it mean to this team to, to get that to get accomplished? Uh, it's huge. I mean, you know, everyone every week's going to come after the Bison because you know we're the top dog in the conference, and it's huge to be able to take that conference title outright. I don't think we've done it too many times out of the seven years that we've won in a row here. So it's just huge, just knowing that we can come out every week and perform like we do. Watch out for the conditions, Bruce. It was real tough, you know, but we practiced outside. We It was cold in Fargo, so we knew it was going to be cold here, and we didn't let the elements stop us, you know. I mean, we can't dwell on elements. We just got to attack it and just play football. It's real interception. Did you go through that play for us? Yeah, uh, coaches, we we were in a thumbs check, which I had the number two receiver, and I seen he did an out and then up, and I just tried to trail him and then try to just get the ball and – did what I could do when I got the ball. Uh, the coaches, they did a good job of putting me in a situation of play calling, which worked out in my favor. When did you see the ball? I mean, you just turned around the last second? Or? Yeah, I seen the ball last second when I turned my head, so I was thankful for that. <laughs> Once you kind of weaved around and then came back, do you think you had a chance to take it the whole way? What kind of happened at the end of the return? Yeah, I seen a couple of my teammates blocking, and I thought that I could just cut back and just see a seam up the middle, but... The quarterback, he made a good play <laughs> tackling. <laughs> Jackson, a kid from California, what was this like out there? Uh, it was new. It was new. Uh, not a big fan of it. <laughs> but uh, uh, luckily, we go back to the Dome, so I'm happy about that. Jackson, what happened when uh, you got hit? Did you know that there was something up there? Because that changed the whole momentum of the game after the punt that you got brought there. Yeah, I kind of saw the guy come across, and uh, he just kind of swiped my foot. So I kind of swelled my pride and kind of rolled around for a little bit to see if I could get the penalty. So I was happy I did. Bruce, after that happened, you guys got going offense. Why was that a spark? What did you what happened there? It was a huge game changer. You know, it was, uh, we would have had to punt it, but with this guy selling it, you know, it gave us field position. We were able to drop the ball and make something out of it. Bruce, what did you see on that long run that Easton broke late and he fumbles? And then he, was it just, were you trying to get blocks? You're just trying to carry the play and something happened? What was it? What were you going through on that? Well, we always taught, you know, when somebody breaks a big run, don't just stop there and keep trailing. You never know what's going to happen. And I was just running, see if I could get a block. And uh, I saw the ball last minute, and I just instincts to dive on it, you know, protect the team, protect the ball. On the interception, Robbie, can you expand on that, what you saw and how that changed the game? Uh, I mean, really same thing. I saw him turn last second. I was kind of amazed that he caught it. That was impressive. But uh, And then he started weaving around, and we had no idea what to do. We were just running. We I don't know if he knew what he was doing. But we, uh, I thought he had it there, and then he uh, let the quarterback get him. So I guess no. But it was great. It was a great play. Jabril, can you describe your year that getting in surge of the lineup and then have a game like this to – to cinch up the, the league outright for you guys? Yeah, it's a it's a great honor to be able to be the Missouri Valley Conference champions outright. Uh, I know through the season, it was all about building confidence with me. And I think towards the end of the season, that kind of came true. And it, I give credit to the coaches and the, my teammates that have helped me progress throughout all this coming through. Robbie, can you expound a little bit what you've seen from, from him that his confidence getting stronger and his play certainly reflecting that? No, yeah. I mean, we knew he had all kinds of ability just playing and getting those reps in practice. And then once he got a shot, we knew he'd be able to make some plays out there. And unfortunately, uh, it took an injury for him to get in there. But uh, I think um, he got that got those reps and I was able to get that experience. And now he's, he's found a spot for himself, and it's, it's working out well. How tough was it to punt in the stuff, Jackson? Uh, you know, it's tough. You just kind of got to focus on just catching the snap and just getting it downfield. And uh, luckily, I have a really good long snapper. It makes my job a little bit easier. You're a Florida guy, Bruce. It's exactly beautiful for you either. No, man, I'm still shivering, man. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a dream for a Florida kid to play in the snow. So I'm glad I got to experience it. I don't want to experience it no more. <laughs> I'm good with one game. I'm content with that. So. What was it about today? You ran really, really hard. It seemed like you were ready to go right from the opening kick. What was, was there something about today? You? Yeah, you know, uh, I've been kind of getting down on myself lately, and I just figure, you know, just have fun. It's all about having fun, you know. Not a lot of people get to play college football, so I just, you know, it's an experience for me, and I'm just glad I got to play out here with my brothers and just have fun. Describe going 10-1, and one, and now the fun really awaits. What's what's the exact emotion? You guys only you win another outright championship here. Uh, It's hard, you know. We got to go on this little break, but then we got to come back harder, work harder than ever. We got to be more focused and we just got to keep attacking the process.